U Yo Bonjour à tous Bienvenue pour un nouvel épisode sur Unmetal <coughs> Pardon Alors la dernière fois euh, On s'était arrêté euh, Après le port Puisqu'on avait affronté le, le sous-marin Donc euh, On est... Ouais, on est arrivé là. Je, veux... Je suis rentré ici tout de suite, j'ai sauvegardé. Donc, bon, on va aller voir ce qu'il y a là. On the east side, the cameras were accompanied by guards. I needed to pass without being spotted by Mike or the camera. So, I had to get rid of Mike and leave no witnesses. But it was more complicated than that. If the camera saw Mike knocked out, lying on the ground, the alarm would be triggered. Seems you just had to move him away from the view of the camera. Exactly. But, if Mike wasn't there as the camera viewed his post, the alarm would still be triggered. Whatever I did, the camera had to see Mike standing at his post. Hmm. Quite the scenario. Unless it's an episode of MacGyver, it would be impossible to proceed. Hold on. If you're telling me this, that means you made it through, correct? Well, yes, I managed to fool the camera eventually. How did you manage that? If the camera needed to see Mike, I could just make a copy of him. A clone? Yes, the copy was so perfect, Mike's mother wouldn't know the difference. I made the swap when the camera wasn't looking. Donc la caméra, elle bouge. Euh... Attendez, attendez, attendez. Attendez, on doit faire un clone de Mike. Comment on va faire ça Je vais peut-être trouver un truc où je reviendrai. Là, il y a une caméra. Là, il y a une caméra. La ficelle. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? You're contradicting yourself. Sergeant, execute this liar. Yes, sir. Bon, c'est pas grave, c'est pas grave. De toute façon, c'est le début, c'est normal. Euh, donc, ils veulent que j'aille par là et je descende. Donc. 
On va aller rechercher la ficelle. Et là, il n'y a rien. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Non mais il est marrant, euh... j'en ai pas moi des grenades euh, électromagnétiques, je sais qu'il m'en fout mais euh, pour l'instant j'en ai pas. Ah oui c'est vrai, hop. Attends. J'ai trouvé un uniforme. That uniform would be handy later to create a fake mic. A moment, Mr. Fox. Why didn't you put on a uniform yourself? You had chances to remove a uniform off any guard from the beginning. You realize that you could have slipped past at any time dressed as another guard on shift. So tell me, Mr. Fox, why not? Because I didn't want to end up as one of them. What? It's just clothing. A disguise. That's how it starts. First you're dressing like them. Then you're eating like them. Sleeping like them. Paying your taxes like them. You end up reading their literature. Reciting their poetry. And you slowly sink into their system until you end up converted as one of them. I couldn't let that happen. That uniform would be handy later to create a fake mic. A moment, Mr. Fox. Why didn't you put on a uniform yourself? You had chances. Comment je vais fabriquer un mic On l'a, monsieur dame, j'ai fait le clown Grâce au bambou.
contre comment je vais faire Il faut que je capture dans les toilettes ouais, comme ça j'ai pas besoin de refaire ça, ça coûte rien mais j'ai pas besoin de le refaire comme ça Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? D'accord, faut pas que je passe par là. Je fais des tests, on va dire, je fais des tests. Faut que je refasse un deuxième. les deux uniformes ok euh, des balles est ce que mon flingue est, est plein it wasn't wise to use weapons there ah, ok euh, non pas ça L'air d'être bon. Euh... Ficelle, j'en ai plus. Ouais, c'est bon. Voilà, des grenades électromagnétiques. Non, je vais laisser ça parce que ça va être trop long. Pardon. J'ai pas besoin de refaire le, le chemin. C'est parti. Quoi Pas comme ils m'ont vu. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded Il y en a deux. Non, 
ça marche pas. de ma gueule désactive tout appareil électronique pendant 3 secondes didn't you say that the alarm never sounded euh... ouais c'est c'est court <rire> ça ah non ça réveille tout le monde ok didn't you say that the alarm never euh, allez encore une phase qui va me faire euh, qui va m'embêter Ce qui me fait chier c'est que ça marche jamais ce truc là là. J'ai pas le temps Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded ouais, mais quand... Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Bon bah euh, ça, ça va re-être la phase de la galère. Didn't you say that the alarm? <sighs> oh, fallait que je loupe. Tout ce que j'ai utilisé. Ah bordel Didn't you say that the alarm never J'ai relâché trop tôt. Ah 
Je me suis gouré le bouton. Didn't you say that the alarm never... There it was, the entrance to the Omega building. That would be the last place I'd visit on my tour de escape. Ah, alors. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Ah, they have me remis là-haut, that's cool. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Ah, désolé. Oh Celle de droite est beaucoup plus lente que celle de gauche. Là, ça va être bon. Attends, fallait que je le tape pour la voir. Ah merde, je peux pas passer, d'accord. Didn't you say that the alarm? D'accord, faut que je balance une grenade. Bon bah, finalement, euh, moi qui voulais faire des économies.
Merde, ça marche pas. J'ai gaspillé une dans le vent. Fais chier. Ah, ça me saoule, je fais n'importe quoi. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Didn't you say that the alarm never Bon, c'était pas Mike. On va tenter la pizza. Le problème c'est qu'il peut toujours vérifier. Ah non, je m'en doutais. J'ai voulu faire un test et en fait, euh, bah, le test ne mène à rien, quoi. Parce que c'est 3 secondes. Who is this? I have a pizza here for Mike. That's me, but I didn't order one. Fuck. Pizzeria screwed up again. They must have repeated the last order. My god, they suck at managing orders. And this is so far away. Are you sure you don't want it? It's just out of the oven. Hold on. Show me the pizza. Show it to the camera. Well, uh, I think I left it on my motorcycle. My apologies. <laughs> I'll be back with the pizza in a moment. You won't leave alive, imposter! Bah voilà. Didn't you say that the Donc c'était pipi. Il m'a vu, fait chier, j'ai tourné trop tôt. Didn't you say that the alarm never sound? Ah, elle me voit, bah oui. Didn't you say that the alarm? Eh, du fail, hein?
is this? Hello. Good evening. Look, my son needs to pee. And he really needs to go to the bathroom. Could you let me in, please? I'm sorry, we can't let children inside. But he's about to pee himself. It'll be everywhere. Walls, doors, ceilings. There's a toilet just after you enter the compound. There he'll be able to pee and save his game. Il pourra y aller. Il pourra aller aux toilettes et sauvegarder. Euh... Comment je fais pour rentrer Didn't you ah, say that the alarm never sounded? You're con. Je viens de trouver. Ah, j'ai été trop. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Didn't you say that the alarm Trop never sounded? En fait, j'ai envie de récupérer les grenades sur le côté et le et l'extincteur. Ah mais je je suis con putain, j'y suis pas allé. Voilà, hop. I have a pizza here for Mike. That's me, but I didn't order one. Fuck. The pizzeria screwed up again. They must have repeated the pizza. last order. My god, they suck at managing orders. And this is so far away. Are you sure you don't want it? It's just out of the oven. Hold on. Show me the pizza. Here it is. Yeah, I see it. What kind of pizza is it? Euh, roquette, margarite, fromage. It's a four cheese pizza. You've got to be joking. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh Besides, no. Isn't you... this a repeated order? Why is this a different pizza? Dunno. Maybe it's for another Mike? Hold on. You're not the same pizza guy. Fuck, you're an imposter. Didn't you say that the alarm... 
J'ai hésité avec Margarita, mais je me suis dit fromage. Le mec, il doit dire euh, c'est bon. Et au moment où j'ai cliqué sur fromage, je me suis dit tu vas voir que le mec, il est intolérant au lactose. Pas manqué. I have a pizza here for... It's a margarita pizza. Margarita? It has tomato, mozzarella, and oregano. Don't fuck with me. That's what all pizzas have. You brought me a pizza with nothing else on it? Do I look like a dumbass or what? Besides, isn't this a repeated order? Why is this a different pizza? Dunno. Maybe it's for another mic? Hold on. You're not the same pizza guy. Fuck, you're an imposter. Ah oh, non mais Cassie, didn't you say that the alarm never Attends, le mec il veut Margarita, je dis Margarita, c'est pas ça. Euh... Fout de moi. Hein. I have a pizza here for It's a mushroom and arugula pizza. What's arugula? It's an Italian herb with intense flavor. Fuck. Is that the kind of pizza that looks like it has grass on it? Well, yeah, it's green. Do I look like a sheep? Besides, isn't this a repeated order? Why is this a different pizza? Dunno. Maybe it's for another mic? Hold on. You're not the same pizza guy. Fuck, you're an imposter. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? J'ai fait tous les trucs, qu'est-ce qu'il veut de plus? Ouais. Didn't you say that the alarm never studied that pizza box, examining every detail, every clue, every molecule. I deduced that it was used by someone else to smuggle something into the Omega building. A pizza? Exactly. A pepperoni pizza, to be precise.
C'est bon. Donc, euh, truc du bus, ça va changer. Parce que la caméra de gauche, je sais pas jusqu'à où, jusqu où elle voit, donc ça, ça me fait chier. Jusqu'où elle voit, pas jusqu'à où. I have a pizza here for Mike. That's me, but I didn't order one. Fuck, the pizzeria screwed up again. Euh... It's a pepperoni pizza. Great. The kind I like. Are you sure it's fresh? I don't see any steam coming out of the box. Uh, that's because they covered the box holes. So the pizza doesn't cool along the way. Do you take me for an idiot? That pizza is cold, asshole. Who are you calling asshole, asshole? Come out here and say that to my face. Fuck. You're not the pizza guy. You're Fox. Shit. <laughs> Didn't you say that the alarm never Cette phase là casse les couilles. Tout ça pour une merde. I care for you study that merde. J'ai rien pour faire de la fumée. J'ai gagné du temps. Who is? On va me refaire chier. I have a pizza here. It's a mushroom and arugula pizza. What's arugula? It's an Italian herb with intense flavor. I ah. Didn't you say that the alarm never? Faut que je prenne la pizza et je me casse. Et je trouve autre chose. Ah J'ai trouvé, j'ai trouvé, monsieur, dame. I carefully studied that. I have a pizza here for. Désolé d'avoir mis autant de temps. It's a pepperoni pizza. Great, the kind I like. A 
As I crossed the door, I entered into the Omega building, the heart of Operation Jericho. It was a cold, dark, industrial place with containers and barrels everywhere. On my right, there was the control room where they monitored the outer cameras. And, of course, the asshole that controlled them. The guy I tricked with the pizza, who was coming over to get it. Reality was going to hit him in the face. Give me the fucking pizza and get out. Of course. You are, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. What the fuck? It doesn't weigh shit. Son of a bitch. You bake these thinner by the hour. It's empty. Where the hell is my pizza? Look at what's on the box. What? Where? I was inside the Omega building. I just had to reach the rooftop and pray that I'd find a helicopter. As I destroyed that computer, I saw something curious inside its metal guts. It was a thick cable and a sign that said, Ground Floor Alarm Cable, Do Not Cut. Done. With the cable cut, the alarm wouldn't be triggered on this floor. Even if I was detected, guards wouldn't be able to trigger the alarm. Ça, c'est cool. Uh... Okay. They put a lot of effort into the security of that compound. The guards weren't the typical ones I've encountered before. They were... Uh... Terminator, no, Scandinavian? Scandinavian guards. Not only were they tougher than normal guards, they were light sleepers too. Attends. Vous, vous Ah bah non, ils sont scandinaves, ils ont, ils ont leur casque sur leur tête. Et ils me voient pas. I fell asleep. Oh, ils avaient rien sur eux. Oops, I fell asleep. Escaping prison, c'est ça ah merde, ils entendu... Ah oui, ils m'ont entendu faire du bruit. D'accord. They put a lot of effort. Mais il était Scandinavian guards. Not only were they tougher than normal guards, they were light sleepers too. D'accord, ils avaient le sommeil du jeu. Et si, et si, il me voit, il me voit passer, d'accord. Il me voit passer. D'accord, donc quand je... Quand je... Quand j'endors, il faut que j'endors, euh, d'accord. They put a lot of effort in Scandinavian guards. Oops, I fell asleep.
Ok, de la ficelle. Ah merde J'ai fait le con. Ah, je vais recommencer. Il me dit seulement maintenant euh, j'aurais utilisé la ficelle depuis le début. Ah oui, mais j'avais pas de ficelle, d'accord. C'est vrai que j'avais plus de ficelle. C'est vrai que j'en ai vu plus. They put a lot of effort. Scandinavian. Oops, I fell asleep. Ah oui, ah, je me suis fait voir. C'est pas grave. They put a lot of effort. Scandinavian guard. fell asleep. D'accord, donc quand on l'attache, ça l'endort. Thank you. 
J'ai été trop vite Base, escaping prisoner, send back up Tu là J'ai été trop vite. J'ai voulu me presser. Mais non, pas ça, ça. They put a lot of effort. Vous savez quoi pour, pour le fun, on va essayer exterminateur. Exterminator guards. The ultimate robot technology. Titanium endoskeleton covered with organic material to look like humans. Programmed to kill with no regrets or doubts. And I held no regrets or doubts about destroying them since they weren't alive. Je sais pas pour vous, hein, mais je vais rester sur les Scandinaves. They put a lot of effort. Scandinavian guard. Oops, I fell asleep. Ah il m'a vu, ah oui mais j'ai pas vu gaffe à sa tête Il faut que j'arrête de rusher They put a lot of Scandinavian guard. Oops, I fell asleep. Oops, I fell asleep.
Merde, c'est quoi ce pattern de, de merde qui, qui nous fait lui Ah oui, d'accord. little room I found a few crates they contained a contenait des grenades kit de premier secours euh, j'en ai des roquettes des grenades je sais pas des roquettes ah merde je suis full Grenade j'en ai 7, de roquettes j'en ai que 2. Ils disent que je suis fou ou ils abusent. Et l'autre c'était kit de soins. Ouais non kit de soins j'en ai plein. Euh... Ouais. ouais non on va passer. On va aller à gauche. Oh. Là on a tout fait. Quoi C'est quoi ce foutage de gueule J'appuie pour l'attraper, le mec il se retourne en mode. Euh... En mode qu'est-ce que tu fais C'est pas cool ça Scandinavian. Oops, I fell asleep. Oops, I fell asleep. Oups, I fell asleep. Quoi Bah je l'avais pas. Ça m'a surpris, je l'ai pas attaché. C'est cause de lure. Je sais pas, je. They put a lot of Scandinavian go. Bah oui, bah vas-y, fais n'importe quoi. Et allez, on recommence. Petit. Euh... Non, ça m'énerve. Euh, donc. Je fais, je fais des bêtises et puis. Scandinavian. Ça m'énerve encore plus. Oops, I fell asleep. Oops, I fell asleep. Ah ok, ça m'avait annulé mon move. Ah, 
escaping prisoner. Send backup. Bon, je reviendrai hein, pour l'autre, pour eux. They put a lot of Scandinavian. Oops, I fell asleep. Trop près. Trop près, trop près, trop près, c'est le fou. They put a lot of effort. Scandinavian. Oops, I fell asleep. Oops, I fell asleep. J'attends qu'il tourne sa tête. Voilà. Je sais pas quoi prendre. In that pokey little room, they contained. Euh, des roquettes, des grenades, j'en ai. Euh... Vas-y, quitte de premier soin, c'est jamais perdu. Je sais qu'il y en a là.
Comment je fais pour passer J'ai plus de pièces. Ça, ça me fait chier. Est-ce que j'aurai une piécette encore Et j'ai plus de piécette. Alors, Balagogo augmente votre maximum de munitions, plus 40 balles et 2 grenades, plus une roquette. Gros chargement, augmente votre maximum de munitions, 8 grenades et 4 roquettes. Des balles ou des grenades Quarante balles, deux grenades, une roquette. Huit grenades, quatre roquettes. Euh... Je pense que je vais affronter un gros truc, mais euh... ouais, ça, ça pour une boule. fell asleep. On va les ranger propre. À part les deux autres, bon, bah, c'est pas grave. Alors, euh, est-ce que je descends Est-ce que je monte 
F1. Welcome to the basement. Uh, thanks. Who are you? I'm the Lord of the Labyrinth. If I hadn't had enough already, a mental patient escaped from a ward. I played along. I'm Fox, son of Zox. I hail you, O Lord of the Labyrinth. What's behind that door? A dark labyrinth filled with deadly traps. Why did they build a maze down here? They didn't. The labyrinth already existed. This building was built over an old prison, which was built over ancient catacombs. It is said that the souls of the prisoners still dwell there. Are you trying to scare me with that children's story? It is merely a warning. Such is the esteemed duty of the Lord of the Labyrinth. I was curious about what was inside the Labyrinth, but I had no business in these catacombs. I was focused on my escape, so I didn't think about those ridiculous stories. Although later, I'd be back. Do you wish to enter the Labyrinth? No, thank you. Et il a dit, plus tard, je, je reviendrai. Ah, ici, il y a une porte. Il faut une carte violette. Freeze! Hands up! What happened with Dr. Hoffman is kind of long to explain. Do you want me to summarize it? Don't even think about it. Any detail can be crucial, so don't skip anything. Now, I want you to drop that Fissile Core Uranium-235 isotope sample. How in the world do you know that it's a Fissile Core Uranium-235 isotope sample? What else would be in the hands of a scientist whose expertise is in Fissile Core Uranium-235 isotopes? How do you know I'm a scientist whose expertise is in fissile core uranium-235 isotopes? I know everything about Operation Jericho. Now, drop that sample. Do you know what will happen if I drop this and the flask is broken? Of course I know. The radiation will flood the whole room. And that would kill us all. I know. I'm not telling you to literally drop it. I mean, slowly set it on the table. It's okay. Don't get nervous. Now turn around. Slowly. I'm afraid I can't turn around slowly. Because we're working in a 2D environment, I can only turn in multiples of 90 degrees. Then turn around 90 degrees twice. So you're the brains behind it all. You won't get away with this, you sick bastard. Operation Jericho will die with you. Everything okay, Dr. Hoffman? Oh god, he has a weapon! Wait, you said Dr. Hoffman? Is your surname Hoffman? Yes. Fuck. Why? What's up? I had a neighbor called Hoffman. He was tall, German, and hairy. He won the lottery, but died of gonorrhea the week after. Poor man. Yes, life can be cruel sometimes. But enough stories. What's the purity of the isotope you're using? 95%. Are you mad? That purity is highly unstable. You need to generate an absolute void field and contain that isotope in an electromagnetic field. That's what we do. We have containers of 500 megajoules. You're playing God. Rabble like you invented the H-bomb. You disgust me. Hold on. Fuck. H as in Hoffman. You invented the H-bomb. What do you say? Mais non, c'est la bombe hydrogène. H comes from hydrogen. Hydro what? Don't try to confuse me with your scientific slang. Whether or not you're the mind behind this, you're the accomplice of a nuclear menace. Say goodbye, Dr. Hoffman. Wait, I did it against my will. They have my daughter. If I don't do what they say, they'll 
Kill her. Your daughter? Where are they keeping her? They have her working as a doctor in the Alpha Building. The Alpha Building? The same one where I met the doctor. Suddenly, I pieced things together, and everything made sense. There were two doctors in that building, although I never saw this man's daughter. Doctor, how old is she? Uh, somewhere in her 30s. In her 30s? What kind of answer is that? A good father would say she turned 32 last April 31st. Well, April only has 30 days. Don't change the subject. What sort of father are you? It's okay. I confess I've never been a good father since I've spent all my time absorbed in science. Not mine. Not mine either. Excuse me one moment. Hello, honey. This is not a good time. It's never a good time for you, Dad. I know, I know. But my current situation is particularly disastrous. Why? Because a man is pointing his gun at me. What? Who is he? I don't know. He doesn't seem like he's from here. I think I know who it is. Ask him if his name is Jesse Fox. Hold on. Uh, pardon me. Are you Jesse Fox? Yes. Yes, it's him. Damn it all to hell. Do you know him? Honey, are you there? Hello? She hung up. Oops. Now it's mine. Jesse Fox here. Over. Can you tell me what the hell you're doing? Doctor, hey, hello. How are you? Not very happy, knowing that you're aiming a gun at my father. What? Your... your father? Yes! Doctor, this is not your father. What do you mean? Of course he is. That's what they're trying to get us to believe. In truth, he's the father of another doctor that works in your building. What? There are no other <laughs> doctors. I'm the only one here. Oh, no, fuck. They're trying to make us believe that too. They're manipulating us. Is your father, by any chance, an expert in nuclear chemistry who works in the Omega building? Yes, he is. The evidence finally collapsed in on itself. Besides two doctors, there were two scientist fathers. Oh, no. The one in front of me who also had a doctor daughter, and the doctor's father. Really? Then explain something to me. How is it possible that someone like you, dedicated to looking after others, has a father that is involved in the annihilation of millions of people? What are you saying? My father is a good man! He's a brilliant scientist, not a killer! Well, the man in front of me is working with uranium for nuclear weapons. That will be used to annihilate entire cities. What? No, no, this can't be. You see, I told you he wasn't your father. What should I do? Do I kill him? What? No! Tell him that... Doctor, I can't understand you if you cover your mouth. Doctor? She hung up. Why did you tell her? Now my own daughter will hate me. Don't worry. She wasn't your daughter. She was the other doctor. What are you talking about? <laughs> they're the same person. That is what they're trying to make us believe. <laughs> they're toying <laughs> with us. Are you really doing this for your daughter? Yes. I want her to be safe. Millions of people could die. I prefer the deaths of millions of people over the death of my precious daughter. You're a monster. It's not <laughs> called being a monster. It's called being a father. If you had a daughter, you would understand, Mr. Fox. Enough. Where is the rooftop? Uh, above? Don't be an asshole. I know that. I mean, how do I reach the rooftop? And don't stall me. Understood? Another stupid answer and I shoot. I don't think you'll do it. You don't look like an assassin. Really? What have you done? Fuck, it was an accident. Tis but a scratch. Come on, my friend. Stand up. 
I'm going to repeat the question one last time, and this time I won't miss. Excuse me, you didn't miss. You hit me. That's true. Then this time I won't heal anyone. How do I reach the rooftop? Th there is a lift that reaches the rooftop. You just have to keep going up as much as you can. But you will need a level 4 access card to go out. Well, in that case, give me a level 4 access card. We, we don't have one. We just have level 3 access cards. I swear. Fuck. I'll have to search for it. Now, continue working as if nothing happened. If you trigger the alarm or do something suspicious... You'll kill us. I promised the doctor not to kill anyone. Hoffman's daughter, or the other one? The other one. Then, you had no intention to shoot me, right? Exactly. You see? I told you that you didn't look like an assassin. I'm glad you're not one of those bastards. You can't imagine how much I hate myself for what they're forcing me to do. In the end, I talked to them about my escape, about Colonel Harris and the promise I made to him to call the cavalry if I managed to escape. That gave Dr. Hoffman and his team some small hope of rescue. He promised to delay the preparation of the uranium that would be used in Operation Jericho for as long as he could. After that, I asked him for some assistance in my escape, but he was terrified of being discovered, which would compromise his daughter's safety. So he decided to stay neutral but still volunteered some information. Bon, on va sauvegarder après tout ça. Alors, maintenant faut trouver une carte. You're not going inside, are you? I'm just going to have a quick look. Are you crazy? Without an anti-rad suit, you will die in just a few minutes. Okay. Et vu que les combinaisons anti-radiation, j'en ai pas. Another thing, don't shoot in the lab. Most of these devices don't react well to bullets. Be careful in there. There are patrols of mechanical spiders. They can see in every direction. Can they be shut down somehow? Only with an electromagnetic grenade. But it would only last a few seconds. Enough time to let them taste my fists. Thanks for the warning. Please carry on with your genocide work. Alors... Non, 
Voilà. J'ai trouvé une combi anti-radiation. She is not replying. Isn't she a doctor? She must be operating on someone. Right when you come into my life? Too many coincidences. What if they killed her? Why would they do that? If they do, you no longer have a reason to continue your work here. You're right. But... Relax and wait a while. And remember to delay those nuclear warheads as much as you can. God knows what will happen if they get completed. Jesse here. Over. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Guess where I am. I don't think you're home. The radio signal wouldn't reach. I'm in the Omega building. Fuck, man. Why are they prepping the nukes? You decide to stop them? What a change of heart, man. No, it wasn't intentional. Then why the hell are you there? Trying to ride a helicopter out of here. Guess that whole runaway by sea plan didn't work out, eh? Just forget about that. I'll see what I can find out about that building. Jesse here. Over. Uh. Pourquoi je peux pas le... Pourquoi je peux pas jeter les grenades une combinaison paralysée que vous avez quoi vous devriez enfiler la combinaison tandis que l'araignée est paralysée et que vous l'approchez pour la une combinaison utilisée pour protéger son porteur de radiation Robert, still there? Yep. Guess where I am. I don't think you're home. Ah merde, je fais... Robert, do you copy? Tu peux le dire hein, quand tu fais des trucs euh, dépêche. Quand j'ai ça, je peux rien faire, d'accord. 
Ok. Ah, je perds de la vie. Jesse here. Do you... Ah là, j'ai fait le, le truc de ce qu'il a dit. Ouais, faut que je me renseigne. Donc je me suis dit, il va peut-être, il va peut-être m'aider. Euh... Merde. Ah non, tu me vois pas là C'est abusé. Sérieux, c'est abusé. Robert, still there. Robert, do you
Ah, on peut pas aller là, d'accord. Super, j'avais le bon chemin. Je voulais aller à droite, mais j'ai pas vu qu'il y avait un, un mur qu'on voyait pas. Yes, le retour de la pièce. This was the access card I needed to reach the rooftop. Now I just had to check if there were any helicopters up there. Par contre, chemin de destruction. Euh, non, de, de, excusez-moi, euh, d'instruction, c'est problème de truc de combat. Euh... Je... Quoi J'ai rien compris. <coughs> Faut couper. Je comprends pas. Un. Deux. Trois. Quatre. Couper le bleu. Cinq. Couper le rouge. 6, couper le mort. D'accord, bah on... on va garder ça au frais. Hein. The fifth document was a shopping list. A collection of military vehicles they bought from the Soviet Union when it collapsed. 
Trucks, tanks, armored vehicles, helicopters, and nuclear submarines. Submarines like the one that attacked me. Now they have one less. The fourth document was the logbook of a mini rescue submarine. It mentioned its last mission, a successful rescue operation from a week ago. Il faudrait que je retourne en arrière, j'ai deux portes que je peux ouvrir avec le... Hey A coin qui croit vraiment que je vais aller chercher sa pièce non ah c'est la fameuse porte euh, que je pouvais pas ouvrir l'autre que je pouvais pas ouvrir c'est f2 euh, c'est là haut non c'est pas là c'était c'était f1 je vais aller voir F1. Des lunettes, des, night des, des lunettes de vision nocturne Ah, c'est peut-être pour le labyrinthe. Je vais les ranger, hein, comme ça au moins. Hop. permet de voir dans les endroits sombres. Ah mais... Ok. Et une carte que j'ai pas. Là non plus, ça m'a permis de faire le tour, de récupérer la carte. Je peux encore monter Et oui, je peux encore monter en fait. Je peux encore monter. I was on the third floor. There were guards keeping watch on the whole level. But these were not your run-of-the-mill guards. 
They were Japanese mercenaries. Oh, no, no. Were they also tougher than normal guards? No way. On the contrary, they were weaker. One punch and down they went. But these Japanese mercs were damn perceptive due to special training they received. Their unique awareness was twice that of a normal guard, an angle of 180 degrees. Getting close to them unnoticed was impossible if you weren't behind their back. Hey, a coin. Alors, alors comme ça les japonais ils sont pas, ils sont pas résistants, c'est des munitions, ok, ils sont pas résistants donc un coup de poing les mets KO, j'avais dit que je taperais plus personne, par contre ils ont une super vision, ça c'est chiant, il faut, faut les choper dans le dos. Ça c'est chiant. Ah oui, bah c'est ce que j'allais faire. Mais par contre, ce qui est bien. C'est que je sais qu'à droite il n'y a rien. Enfin, ce qui est bien. Coin. 
Eh oui. Voilà, sauvegarder. Le coup de la pièce, messieurs dames, le coup de la pièce. Souvenez-vous. Je vais aller voir par là. Ça c'est ça le souci, ils ont, des, ils ont une très bonne vue. Ils ont une bonne vue. On va aller voir par en bas. Oui, j'aurais pu le laisser là, je vais l'emmener jusqu'aux toilettes, c'est pas grave. Je vais le mettre avec ses potes. Je suis bientôt level 10. Je sais pas combien il y a de level. c'est pour aller en bas et en haut c'était l'autre qui était tout seul d'accord La pièce au moment où il arrive. Hey, a coin. Ouais, ça peut marcher. m'avait vu je vais voir si je peux passer par là c'est peut-être plus rapide euh... pas plus safe
d'accord, il y a des toilettes. Ah ok. Bordel, je vais trop vite. Je suis de retour dans une dans, dans cette boucle euh, du rush que j'aime pas. Ah oh, mais merde. N'oubliez pas, ils ont une putain de vue. Hop Comme ça, même si je reçois garde en bas, c'est pour pas me retaper le... à tout, en fait. Oh, je m'en fous, on me donne la possibilité de sauvegarder, je sauvegarde, hein. J'en ai mis KO Et voilà Oh là Je suis Takuma Takagashi, Great Japanese Samurai Warrior, Guardian of General X. Si tu es le boss de ces assholes, tu sais qu'ils ne pouvaient pas prendre deux punches. Tu insultes la japonaise culture, tu meurs par mon katana Vraiment Je vais te montrer ce que je pense de ton damn karate. Takuma Taga... Je le sens pas. Je disais aussi, je le sentais pas. Ouais, euh, je veux bien... Euh... 
Takuma Takagashi. Good. I don't see. Je vais prendre mon flingue et je vais le buter en fait. Takuma Takagashi. Oh non, mais c'est pas possible Pourquoi j'ai pas fait d'esquive J'ai cru que j'avais toute la vie ou quoi
Oh non Là, je vais l'avoir. C'est parce qu'en fait, je me fais toucher comme un con et... Bah, il faut pas. So, great courage in combat. To fight you has been great honor. Sayonara. Hasta la vista, baby. Boss defeated. Yeah, on l'a eu. Et un level up en plus. Vous pouvez utiliser des bandages pour soigner les ennemis. Chaque traitement... prend 4 secondes. Vous pouvez utiliser des bandages pour soigner les ennemis, d'accord Guérison améliorée en utilisant un kit de soins. Vous récupérez instantanément la moitié de vos PV manquants. Hmm. Ah mais vu que je m'arrange pour pas tuer les ennemis. Ça c'est cool, ouais si, non non c'est cool. Ça m'a mis la moitié et en plus ça augmente. Euh... Tac. Tac. Oh, tant pis. Hey, Mike. Look, you scared me. Mike? Yeah, it's me. I heard about how you kicked Marcuson's ass. Son of a bitch, he deserved it. What are you doing here, Mike? Well, after I finished repairing those lasers, they decided I had to come here fix more stuff. Wasn't it your night off? Yep, just another night working for a bunch of damn extortionists. What brings you here, Mike? Need some help? Nah, I'm going to the rooftop. Almost there. Just take an elevator up a floor. I know, I was just exploring a little. Anyway, if you need any help, come see me. I'll be around. Thanks, Mike. See you later. Yep, toodaloo. Euh... Quoi Il manque le niveau 5 Euh... Mike On va parler à Mike Elle est où la carte numéro... Elle est où le truc du niveau, du niveau 5 Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Hey, how did they catch you? 
I was in the outskirts of Katsala, taking some pictures of a b Rien à foutre. Euh... Bon oui, ça va sauvegarder, mais... Hop. Par contre, euh, j'ai pas vu, elle était où la carte Pas de porte, y'a rien. Je regarde le cas où j'aurais loupé une porte, mais ça m'étonnerait. Je peux pas passer, donc on va monter. Je peux encore monter Non. I finally went out to the rooftop. As I stepped out, I observed details that would be missed by mere amateurs. But to a trained eye like mine, nothing ever goes unnoticed. First off, there was a communication antenna to my right. Right? You mean on the left? I was looking south, so your left is my right. Of course. Continue. Another key detail. There were four guards. And they were smoking. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Hands up. You have no fucking idea who I am, do you? Who the hell are you, scumbag? I'm the man who's going to shove my boot in your asses so deep that you'll all be shitting leather for a month. I'm the fucking work inspector. Military internal affairs. What? So, how the fuck is it possible that a goddamn gentleman like me, dressed as a mere civilian, freely strolled around the whole fucking building? I'll tell you how. Because some inept guards decided that instead of being at their posts, they slithered up to the rooftop to hide smoke and spew scum. It's our five minutes off, sir. Are you kidding me, soldier? No, sir. What's your name, scumbag? Mike, sir. Listen to me carefully, scumbag Mike. I've been sent by the general himself. He is pissed off with all the soldiers in this building, and I have his permission to ensure each one of you are pissed on. I just have to make a little fucking check mark, and your precious fucking leave is a never-ending hell of cleaning latrines and wiping piss. So, don't piss me off. Do I make myself clear, scumbag Mike? C -c Crystal clear, sir. Chatting here, blah, blah, blah. Gossiping like schoolgirls. You disgust me. Fuck. Imagine if I was a spy or a prisoner who managed to obtain critical information and I was pretending to be a work inspector in order to steal a helicopter and escape. What do you think would happen, scumbag Mike? Sir? It would be a non-authorized takeoff, and it would be shot down by the surface-to-air missiles. And you think he couldn't avoid it? Only if he disabled the communication with the missiles, sir. I see. And how would he do that? Sir, disabling the communication antenna that communicates with all surface-to-air missile batteries. And then he just gets away. What kind of shitty security is that? That's it. This is all going into my report. Heads are going to roll. Please, sir. Don't rescind our leave. We have children waiting for us. Fuck! You have children, and you're smoking? You call yourself a father scumbag, Mike? I have good reason to keep you from your kids. No, please. I'll give up smoking. I swear to God. Swear to me. I swear. I swear. I'm magnanimous. I will turn a blind eye to this indecency. But the day you hold another cigarette will be your last. Thank you, sir. Take a look at this floor. It's littered of cigarette butts, you pigs. Have you been tossing these without putting them out? You'll burn the building down, not to mention the pollution. And what happens if a passing child gets burnt from these? Fucking swine. Lean down, little piggies, and collect all these cigarette butts with your mouths now. 
Yes, sir. You too, asshole. Yes, sir. Now, get out of here and go back to your posts. Yes, sir. Euh, là, ils auraient dû mettre une petite pièce, là. Attends, on peut pas y aller, tac. Alors, apparemment... Faudrait que je pète ça. Here it was, the antenna. I searched for wires to cut. Ah. Good news, I found some wires. Bad news, I found something else behind them. What, Mr. Fox? A bomb. A bomb in a communication antenna? Exactly. I thought someone before me placed it there to sabotage the tower. And that person was captured or killed before he could set off the bomb. However, a label adjacent to the bomb solved the enigma. It read, Communication Antenna Sparky SGL-65B Anti-Vandalism System. Anti-Personnel Bomb Explode If Person Attempt Cut Antenna Signal. Explosion will not affect structure. But shrapnel eject outside literally destroy any person nearby. Hmm. Interesting. Sergeant, do we have anything similar on base? No, Lieutenant, but we can request for one. Well, continue with your farce, Mr. Fox. The label continued. For emergency purpose, disconnect antenna. Prevent explosion by follow KGS-185-U protocol. And what the hell is that protocol? The KGS-185-U protocol. I didn't figure it out at first, but it turns out that I had read that name before. Par contre, le truc que je comprends pas, c'est ça. Ils mettent deux schémas. Un... Euh... Ah oui, un qui m'explique le, le rouge et le blanc, ils sont ensemble. Le bleu et le jaune. Et le vert et le noir. Et ils me disent que... Faut que je coupe le bleu. Faut que je coupe le rouge. Faut que je coupe le noir. D'accord, donc... Attendez, je vais vérifier parce que je veux être sûr. Hein. Faut que je coupe le bleu en haut. Le noir en haut. Non, le bleu en haut, le noir en bas et le rouge en et le, et le, le rouge en bas et le noir en haut. I use the bolt cutter to cut the euh, le fil bleu. Quoi Ça fout ma gueule Ah, d'accord I use the bolt cutter to cut the... Attends, y'a un truc que je comprends pas. Pourquoi ils me disent... 1, 2, 3... 4, 5, 6. 4 bleus. 5 rouges. 6 noirs. Bah oui. I use the bolt cutter to cut the. 
Ah du coup le noir I use the bolt cutter to cut the Non, ça marche pas. I use the bolt cutter to cut the Attendez, je... je suis débile ou quoi KGS 185U, ouais, donc c'est ça. Ok, je peux rien faire. J'ai mon instruction. Ah oui, bah... Euh... Ah voilà Mais oui, forcément. Il me faut la carte. Et je peux, je peux pas me barrer avec l'hélico. Ok. Là, j'ai compris. Regardez bien, un scroco, mais juste avant je fais ça, je fais rouge et blanc.
I use the bolt cutter to cut the... Ouais, je fais ça, je meurs. Mais pas ce crocodile, il me serve à quelque chose. C'est obligé que c'est pour les fils. Je comprends pas comment ça se fait que je peux pas les... Pourquoi je peux pas cliquer J'allais voir mon pote. Peut-être que je peux lui demander quelque chose. Du genre euh, une pince coupante ou... Du fil ou je ne sais quoi. Parce que lui... Il est expert en, au niveau de la, de la coupe. Je sais qu'il coupe des trucs, machin. Non On va lui parler Ça, je peux pas le casser aussi. Ça me saoule. De toute façon, même si je peux le... Je peux le couper, je pourrais pas le prendre. Hum... Un truc qui va pas. Je sais pas ce que c'est, mais il y a un truc qui va pas. En plus, il manque une carte. Il doit être une carte spéciale, une carte secrète, je ne sais pas, mais... Ah, voilà C'est ça qu'il me faut. Le truc qui me fait chier, c'est que j'en ai trouvé. Je... Ah, super, hein, je suis comment pour passer là En bas, j'espère Non. Ah Et le voir Attends, je peux faire. Voilà Maintenant, on a les pinces
Et je revérifie parce que je me connais. Hein. Le 1, c'est rouge et blanc. I use the wire with clamps to connect the... With the... Voilà, le rouge et blanc. Après, le noir et vert. I use the wire with clamps to connect the... With the... Alors... Le prochain, le jaune et bleu. I use the wire with clamps to connect the... With the... Voilà. Et maintenant, je coupe. Je coupe le bleu. Attends. Donc je dis pas de conneries. 4. On coupe le bleu. On coupe le rouge. Le noir. I use the bolt cutter to cut the. I use the bolt cutter to cut the. I use the bolt cutter to cut the. Done. The antenna was out of action. The surface to air defenses would never activate if I hit the skies. Now, I could finally get that damn helicopter and escape. Et maintenant, on s'échappe. On s'évade. Attention. Attention, évadation dans 3 de... There it was, the helicopter I eventually escaped in, only to have you inevitably shoot it down. But fuck, I didn't have the damn key. I needed it to get the door open. J'ai pas la clé. J'ai pas... Ah oui, bah oui, il va peut-être me donner la... Et puis il va y avoir un combat, donc euh, oui. J'ai pas la clé. Je vais... Je vais... Là, je vais aller voir mon pote. Parce que là, il va peut-être lui parler en disant ouais, j'ai peut-être la clé euh... ou non. J'ai ah. the call before leaving. Hey Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. You find a chopper yet? Found a helicopter, but I don't have the key. Can't you hotwire it? I can't even open the outer door. Work your magic with the radio. Maybe you can hear something useful. No problem. Let's see if a guard can be tricked into telling where a spare key is. Thanks, friend. Ouais, je vais aller voir l'autre parce qu'il va peut-être me donner sa carte d'accès euh, jaune qui manque. Fuck everyone else. Everyone but me. 
Mike, I'm looking for the key to that helicopter. Well, General X probably has it in his office. Is it far? You're right in front of it. That door? Yes. Fuck, finally some luck. But. But what? Only General X can open it. Shit, can't you use your magic? Nope. There has to be a way to get in there. A uh, back door or something. Come on, Mike, think. Hmm, wait. His office might have another entrance. A while ago, I was studying the map of this building, and I saw something weird. Weird? What was weird? The office has a private elevator that leads to the basement. Always wondered why he wanted an unlocked private elevator. So you could take the main elevator to the basement and go through there to General X's private elevator? Yep. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to the basement. Mike, wait! The basement is a fucking maze! Take this map with you. You'll need it to get through safely. Alors ça... E, E, O, O, N, N, E... Ah, c'est East. C'est ça, non East, East, West, West, Nord, Nord, Nord... Je crois que c'est ça. I answered the call before leaving. Hey Fox, weren't you searching for a helicopter key? Fuck yeah. You have it yet? Not yet, but I believe General X has one in his office. Why? Because I heard some talk on the radio. They're keeping a copy of that key in a special room. It's somewhere close to General X's office, through a private lift. Don't know what room it is or where, but I know the door is marked with an X. A door marked with an X? Yeah, man. Fucking weird. Thanks, Robert. If I don't find the key in his office, I'll look for that room. Porte avec un, avec un X. C'est pas celle qui était sur le toit Là, j'ai vu aucune porte. Then say friend in Elvish, and the door will open. Friend? In Elvish? Shit. Turns out the mental patient was a fucking Lord of the Rings geek. What person in their right mind knows how to say friend in Elvish? Well, I don't know the word. Can you give me a hint? I'm afraid I can't grant any assistance to this enigma. What if I grant you a punch in the face? Uh, a fruit. Big, sweet, you eat it in the summer? Watermelon? It lacks water. Melon? Donc j'ai ça. Donc... I reached the first intersection. It had three exits. North, east, and west. I checked the map. Ah, uh, east? The first letter was E, so I took the path to the east. I reached the second intersection. It also had three exits, north, east, and west. I checked the map a second time. The second letter was also an E, so I took the east path. I would make an effort to check the map at every intersection as I proceeded.
Non, ça fait trop peur. Euh... Attends. Si, c'est haut. Euh... Par contre, il me faut un... Comment ça se fait que je suis mort Si c'est. Je, enfin, je sais comment ça se fait que je suis mort mais. Comment on tue les fantômes Je voulais juste voir ce qu'il y avait. Hein. Vous pouvez tirer sur les esprits dans le labyrinthe. C'est sympa. C'est sympa. Je veux bien, mais il faut leur mettre combien de balles C'est quoi Une, deux, trois. D'accord, c'est trois. Oui, il faut peut-être, il faut suivre la, la route en fait. Hein. Je me dis on sait jamais, il peut peut-être y avoir un truc... Euh... Faut les tuer avant qu'ils t'attrapent. C'est nord mais je sais plus je suis où quel nord donc euh... Oui je sais vous m'en voulez Et c'est mon côté euh, aventurier Moi je veux voir tous les tous les tunnels Je veux voir s'il n'y a pas un truc caché C'est la base 
C'est la base de l'exploration. C'est une, deux, trois, quatre. D'accord, quatre nord. Pourquoi oh Merde, on avait dit quatre nord, donc ça fait. les balles donc ça fait deux ça fait trois Ok, donc il y a deux trucs de balle que je peux pas prendre.
Ah d'accord. Too empty. I needed to be relaxed with no close threats or alarms. Voilà. La carte. Donc, je crois que c'est East. Sud. Ça. Ouais. Ah, pas du gain. Enfin, euh, pas vraiment un gain, mais euh, vous m'avez compris. C'est là. Donc c'est sud. Et là, si je dis pas de conneries, c'est re-sud. D'accord, donc c'était pas ça. C'était pas ça. Donc juste pour vérifier avec conscience. Ouais non, c'est vraiment on peut pas y aller quoi. On peut aller nulle part. Ouais ok je viens, de, je viens de comprendre ouais. Je viens de comprendre que je viens de comprendre là où je me suis trompé C'est ici le dernier sud en fait.
Donc c'était... Chaque fois je me... Merde, mais non c'est pas ça. Ça. Donc c'était... Nord. 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 Là, c'est nord. Et après, c'est... Après, c'est pas là. Après, c'est tout droit, je pense. Est. Ouais, si, c'est ça. C'est bon, je crois que pour l'instant euh, là j'ai le chemin. Merde, c'est pas ça. Je m'embrouille. Nord. Ouest. Euh, je crois que c'est. Je crois que là c'est nord. Et ouest. Ouais, si c'est. Ouest. Voilà. J'ai bien fait de sauvegarder avant. Non, je voulais tester un truc. Je voulais tester aussi. Je voulais, je, en fait, quand je suis passé, je me suis dit, tiens, ça, ça s'écroule pas. Il y a peut-être un truc à ramasser, et puis en fait, non. Là c'était parce que j'étais pas sûr. Donc on a fait ouest. Non, nord.
Là c'est nord, 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 euh, je crois. Par contre, les fantômes, quand ils t'attrapent, euh, ils rigolent pas. Ce serait... Ouais, ce serait Est. Oui Oui, oui, je me suis... Euh, je, me suis trompé, je me suis trompé. Attendez. Par contre, j'ai pas trouvé comment on enlève le fantôme. Et ça, c'est chiant. la même connerie vous y croyez ça Il y a un truc qui va pas là. Je me serais encore trompé. Merde. Je serais par là. Et après par là. En fait, j'ai ouais, vous allez me dire ouais, mais comment tu peux te perdre T'as la map. Et ben, j'ai mal lu la map et depuis, je me suis perdu. D'accord, là, c'est là où. Je vois. D'accord, donc là c'était vraiment pas là, voilà. Donc 
là, on a fait les chemins. On sait. Enfin, on sait. Il y a des chemins que je... Là, ça tombe. Là, ça tombe. Là, ça tombe. Et là, ça tombe. Pourtant, c'est la porte. Mais il y a un truc... Nord, 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 bah ouais. Ah, nord, nord. There was something odd about that wall. I found a suspicious brick that smelled like turkey. I pushed it and... J'ai trouvé I entered the secret door and left those dungeons behind. Ahead of me was a less dank portion of the basement. According to Mike, there had to be an elevator somewhere that went to General X's office, which should ultimately hold the original helicopter key. On the other hand, Robert told me that he heard of a special room with an X on its door, which could alternatively hold a copy of that key. Either option was fine as long as I could get a hold of a damn working key. And thus, my search of the basement began. On est à la fin. C'est le, de, de, le dernier moment. Vous entendez la musique Ça ressemble beaucoup à Resident Evil. Ah oui, par contre, on va enlever ça. Voilà. Et ça. Du C1. Des trucs, on va, on va faire péter des trucs. Là, la porte avec un X. Je fouille d'abord. Hein. tout mais c'est pas grave oui vous allez me dire mais vous allez me dire t'es débile ou quoi elles ont changé la musique There it was, General X's private elevator. D'accord. Ah non, voilà. with an X, just like Robert told me. There it was, the secret room where they kept the helicopter key. 
Why would they keep a key in such a creepy place instead of an office? The more I thought about it, the more things felt out of place. I had a strange feeling, like a gut feeling that something was just wrong. Mr. Fox. You have finally arrived. General X? The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Perhaps one for a helicopter? Hmm? You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. <laughs> Fuck! Don't blame him. He's been the victim of my counterintelligence. Right there, in front of me, was General X, the puppet master of Operation Jericho. Not only was he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, he was so smart that he could predict my every move. For starters, he tricked me and Robert into searching for this room. You had us waiting longer than expected, Mr. Fox. If you drew some arrows in the labyrinth, I would have come sooner. Hmm, that would remove a certain charm, don't you think? By the way, I brought some company. Colonel! Doctor! I see you're already acquainted. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender. Otherwise, we'll start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the doctor could die. Let me guess. You're considering the option of shooting, but you know that Harris and the doctor could die. Fuck, yeah. He read my mind, but that asshole X was a clean shot. If I shot quickly, I could kill him. Now you're probably thinking I'm stupid for being so exposed, and that you can kill me with a quick enough shot. If you shoot and kill me, that would be the end of the final boss. Of all of this, you'd be a hero. Do you really have such a low opinion of my intellect, Mr. Fox? Shit. This was part of his plan. He was here on purpose. I was thinking that he might have worn a bulletproof vest. By now, you should be thinking that I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. Shooting an armored man would be foolish, don't you think? Fuck. He read my mind once again. But even if his body was covered, his head was not. <laughs> One bullet between his eyes and goodbye. But you're not a quitter, Mr. Fox. It's only logical that you'd consider shooting me in the head. I will admit, a challenging yet possible shot. An Olympian trial of marksmanship, reflexes, and luck. Let me spare you the trouble. Sergeant! <laughs> yes, sir! Shoot me in the head at point-blank range. But, sir! That's an order. Uh, yes, sir! The bullet went through his head, but the bastard was unfazed. Return to your post, Sergeant. Yes, sir! <laughs> what you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A hologram? Precisely, Mr. Fox. And now that it's obvious that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me 10 seconds to think about it. Of course. So, Ron, Harry, Doctor. Uh... It's okay. I surrender.
je pense qu'il faut attendre. Parce que se rendre, il me tue. Harris, il le tue et c'est game. Et Docteur, il, le, il la tue et c'est game. Quand il a dit donnez-moi 10 secondes pour réfléchir. Jesse here. Over. Shit, there's no signal down here. Damn. the explosive I needed something to act as a timer a truc qui va minuteur la montre voilà j'ai un nouveau truc dans les négociations. Mr. Fox. You have finally arrived. General X? The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Ok, il me montre, euh, voilà. Ironie. Attention. Dieu. Do you know what I find ironic? Do tell, Mr. Fox. That the two soldiers standing behind the doctor and the colonel, the ones supposed to execute them, are actually the ones that'll save their lives. Fascinating. How do you figure? Meat shields. Meat shields. For what? Bricks. What? <laughs> Doctor! I'm fine. What happened? An explosion. The guard behind you received the brunt of it. Colonel! He's alive. Looks like he just blacked out. We have to leave before reinforcements arrive. I'm taking Harris with me. It's best not to move him. We don't know if he has any fractures or internal wounds. I'll take the risk. He can't stay here. Doctor, let's go! I'm not coming, Fox. Why not? There are injured that require my attention, and I don't want to leave my father alone. What? They were going to kill you! No, they weren't. It was just a trick to catch you. And if I leave, my father won't work and they'll kill him. Run! Go away! I'll come back for you with the cavalry. You have my word. I left that room, carrying the Colonel. Wait, you're saying that you managed to rescue Colonel Harris? 
That's correct. Well, Mr. Fox, let's see what you invent to remove him from this story. Lieutenant, we found a corpse in the remains of the helicopter. What? Who is he? We don't know, Lieutenant. It was totally carbonized by the fire. Take him to the lab. I want a forensic analysis done yesterday. Do you understand me, Wachowski? Yes, sir. Fuck. We killed Colonel Harris. May God forgive us. No, he's not Harris. The Colonel died a month ago in an ambush. These are his personal belongings, his dog tag, his watch. Don't you remember, Sergeant? We found them on his corpse. That man has never seen the Colonel. He's just trying to confuse us with his lies. Fuck's sake, he has absolutely no evidence for what he's saying. I have this. But, what? If I'm not mistaken, it's a graduation ring for the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Colonel Harris graduated in the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Sergeant, you don't believe him, do you? With all due respect, sir, I only said that Colonel Harris graduated in the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. He's trying to fool us, Sergeant. I remind you that there are more rings like this one. Yes, but not with the same smell. It reeks of shit. Sir, permission to smell the ring? Fuck. It smells just like Colonel Harris's <laughs> anus. What? How the hell do you know what the Colonel's anus smells like? I'm not authorized to reveal that information, sir. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is getting out of hand. Mr. Fox, continue your story. Let's see if we can finish this once and for all. Huh? Attends, j'ai pas compris, ils m'ont vu comment Et qu'est-ce qu'il vient faire ici, lui Comment ça se fait qu'ils arrivent à me repérer
vu, vu la musique, ils auraient pu partir dans un délire de... Resident Evil, pardon. Vu que la musique, elle, elle lui ressemble fortement. Genre, on aurait, je sais pas, on aurait pu rentrer dans un labo où il y a des zombies. Euh, avec un mec qui a une sorte de savant fou qui, qui transforme les soldats en zombies. Ils sont tous là, je fais comment pour eux C'est quoi ce délire Returning to my position. Allez. On prend l'ascenseur. I went up in the private elevator of Lieutenant They found a bullet in the carbonized corpse head. A bullet? So it wasn't us after all. Colonel Harris was murdered. Hey friend, don't look at me. I haven't killed anyone. I'm not your friend. For fuck's sake, shut up. Wachowski, send the bullet to science officer Hollister for analysis. And tell him to collate it with the gun Mr. Fox had on him. Maybe we'll have a surprise. I want the results of that five minutes ago. Understood? Yes, sir. Je peux encore monter. Wow, 
That asshole General X had some cool music equipment. Multi-band equalizer, auto-amplified subwoofer, and... No way. Double-deck cassette player. Fuck, yeah. you could record directly from one cassette to another. Bon, on sauvegarde. Papa. Fuck! I found out that bastard kept a fully stocked armory behind his office. Ouais, ça va péter. I finally reached the last floor. C'est le dernier boss. Lieutenant, we already have the ballistics results. And? You are right, sir. Ballistics established that the bullet was fired from Mr. Fox's gun. You killed Colonel Harris, you bastard. Sergeant, behave. Sir, permission to execute that assassin. Permission denied. First off, we can't confirm the identity of the victim until we have the forensics report. Second, according to policy, Mr. Fox has the right to finish his story. Mr. Fox, continue. And you better not contradict the evidence we're collecting. Mr. Fox, leaving so soon and without a farewell. That's not very neighborly of you. And what's that on your shoulder? That's personal property, Mr. Fox. Haven't your parents taught you never to steal? General X stood in my way, assuming it was really him and not another hologram. Are you asking yourself if I'm another hologram? Well, yeah. Haha, <laughs> no, not this time. It is I, in the flesh. Good. Then I'll... Put a bullet in my head. You read my mind. Please tell me, Mr. Fox. How does one shoot that which they cannot see? What? What the fuck? Do you like my new device, Mr. Fox? Optical electronic hollow camouflage. The latest in nanotechnology. Obviously, if you start firing randomly, there's still a chance I may be hit. I believe dumb luck is a concept you're fond of? Hmm? So if you don't mind, I invite you to expend some ammunition with some friends. Attendez.
par contre, il y a un truc qui va pas. Il faut que je trouve. Attends, comment je peux faire pour voir Bullets left, Fox. I imagine not. I suspect you've stashed some grenades, though. Let's find out. <laughs> Mr. Fox. Je tentais un truc mais ça va. ça va pas. Alors en fait je, il faut ouais il faut juste j'attaque ce qu'il me donne quoi. C'est parti. Mr. Fox. Vu que je le vois pas. I suspect you've stashed some grenades though. Let's find out. Il apparaît une grenade. Oh non C'est bon, je crois que j'ai compris. Enfin, j'avais déjà compris, mais... Euh... Which means it's time to comfortably finish you. By the way, I'm sure you may have noticed by now, while you were distracted with my friends, I took the liberty to follow you around and recover some of my stolen property. Oh. 
par contre... Après mon truc pour me soigner. Mais oui, mais non C'est ça qu'il faut que je prends. Fox. Sincerely, this was beyond my expectations. Luckily, you brought my first aid kits. Hope you don't mind that you're missing one. So, you've been stealing my stuff. Your stuff? Everything you've acquired is from my base, Mr. Fox. And as the proverb states, on, one dude, who ouais. steals from a thief will receive a hundred years of pardon. Attends, vrai, je that vous. bastard had been stealing from me while I was busy destroying his machines. And I'm sure he was going to steal more stuff as he needed it. Ah, l'enfoiré s'est remis sa vie. Merde. You've run out of first aid kits, Mr. Fox. Unfortunately, you'll be unable to heal yourself anymore. Fortunately, it also means that you've run out of them. Which adds to the thrill. Let the best man win. Par contre, ouais, j'ai plus le. Non, j'ai plus rien. Chier Merde j'en ai plus Et puis je vais prendre ça On verra bien Ça ira pas Non, je mourrai.
Mr. Fox. Au début, c'est eux, je crois, qui me donnaient des trucs. Mais, mais en fait, non, c'est lui qui me vole. Mais il reprend sa vie à chaque fois aussi, c'est chiant. J'en ai plus, je sais pas comment faire. Je peux pas le toucher comme ça. Euh... On va se laisser tuer, hein. On va voir comment c'est.
Mr. Fox. Je vais les utiliser en fait et garder mes grenades. Et comme j'aurai plus de soins, il va dire ouais, t'as plus de soins, machin. Je pense que stratégiquement, c'est le, c'est la bonne chose à faire. J'ai tourné ma... Je suis déçu. Je joue très mal. Defeated. On l'a eu What are you waiting for? Finish me. Time without paying for your crimes? No way. I'll take you to a trial so they condemn you and lock you in a cell to rot for the rest of your life. I see. Tell me, Mr. Fox. How are you going to take me if you can't move? What? You're so predictable. I knew you wouldn't kill me or let me die, just like all of my other subordinates. 
They consistently led you directly into my trap, Mr. Fox. Honestly, I hope you were going to surprise me again, like that little spark in the basement. But once more, the pen is mightier than the sword. By the way, thanks for volunteering to test my new paralyzer. The discharge it releases shuts down the whole peripheral nervous system. You should have killed me when you had the chance. See you never, Mr. Fox. See you never, General X. Are you all right, son? Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry. The effects on the paralysis will wear off soon. But it's not prudent to stay here. Come on, stand up, Fox. I'll help you walk. Bah c'est pas lui qu'on a pris alors pour mettre le qui avait la balle dans la tête. Colonel Harris and I went to the helicopter. A few minutes later, when I regained my motor skills, we took off. Lieutenant, we have the forensic report of the carbonized corpse. Hand it to the sergeant. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Looks like we can finally prove that Mr. Fox has been lying. Sergeant, what does the report say? And the physiological study confirms that the corpse with identification C4423 measures three inches taller than Colonel Alan Harris, disproving his identity. What? Then he's not the colonel. Of course not. I told you, Sergeant. Care to explain this, Mr. Fox? Are you going to tell us that he was tortured on a rack until it stretched him three inches? That would be ridiculous. He's not Colonel Harris. I never said he was. You what? You just told us that you both flew away in that helicopter. I told you we escaped together, but never said that corpse was Colonel Harris. In fact, I have no idea who it is. Are you sure you found it in the helicopter? Did you plan it yourselves to incriminate me? Like some dirty cops? How dare you! Enough games, Mr. Fox, enough! We'll find out who you are and then we'll execute you. What now? What the hell is happening in here? Colonel in the room, salute! Colonel Colonel Harris? You, you're alive. Sir, we, we thought you passed away. As you can see, Lieutenant, I'm alive and kicking. Why is this man handcuffed? We were interrogating him. He's a spy that we captured, sir. A spy? Are you pulling my leg? He's a civilian who was in prison for a crime he didn't commit. He's also the man that not only saved my life and freed me from the ex-army base, but also he found classified information about Operation Jericho that will be essential in stopping the ex-army. For goodness sakes, that man's a fucking hero. Release him immediately. Y yes sir Did you tell them your heroic feet, Fox? I was at when we entered the helicopter. But it looks like they found a corpse in the helicopter. But fuck, I don't know who he is. They say he has a bullet in his head, and it came from my gun. But I haven't killed anyone. That corpse was General X. I killed him with your gun myself. Don't you remember? See you never, General X. Later, while you were regaining your senses inside the helicopter, I retrieved General Lex's corpse and dragged it to the helicopter's aft. That bastard was heavy. In the air. You know what happened. Hurry up, Fox. They're following us. Don't rush me, Colonel. I'm getting used to the controls. This piece of junk has levers and buttons everywhere. But don't panic. I think we'll be able to reach Allied territory before they catch up. Then I'll call the cavalry. Charlie, Alpha, Charlie, Alpha, 54438, four, do you copy? Damn it, this radio isn't working, fucking piece of shit. Don't worry, Colonel. As soon as we reach Allied territory, they'll stop pursuing us. Don't worry. Son, with no radio, when this fully armed piece of Soviet junk pings their radar, the first thing they're gonna do when we don't answer is take us down. Fuck. 
So we'll be shot at if we keep going, or we'll be shot at when we turn around? Affirmative. We're between a rock and a hard place. We'll abandon the helicopter as soon as we cross the border. I'm gonna search for the parachutes. But jumping would still be risky in this jungle terrain. You have them, Colonel? We're nearly there. There's only one, Fox. You jump and deliver the documents to the Allies. Are you insane, Colonel? They won't believe me. And you don't know how to pilot this junk. I'm dead to them anyway. You're young. You have your life ahead of you, son. Take this ring. Show it to them. They'll believe you. Fuck, it reeks of shit. Well, that's because those asshole bastards were going to snatch it as they put their hands on me. So I hid it in the only safe place I had left. My ass. Come on, son, put on the parachute. Colonel, you need to jump and tell them everything yourself. We argued about who had to jump, but I had to admit that Mr. Fox had one convincing argument. Fox, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, son. We are running out of time. For heaven's sake, put on the parachute. The next thing I remember was waking up, hanging from the parachute tangled to a tree. Tu mine droite. The owner of a farm who spotted me arrived a few minutes later. After tending to my wounds and offering me food, he was so kind as to bring me here to the base. The lieutenant and the sergeant were shocked and immediately apologized. A few days later, the army decorated me with two medals. Jesse Fox, for rescuing an MIA military colonel and recovering intelligence on Operation Jericho. I, Colonel Alan Harris of the 5th Battalion, award you a Purple Cross of Civilian Courage. <laughs> <laughs> that medal really exists? It didn't. They had to invent it, as they had nothing that they could provide for a civilian. You're also awarded the Gandhi Medal of the National Idiot. National Idiot? Well, I received it because I didn't kill any enemies at all during the escape. As you know, militaries don't get why killing is wrong. Well, at least we agree on that. So, thanks to the documents I found, the Allies could find and sink every related submarine. The military base, docks, and Omega building were the target of a large operation. Everyone was arrested. Robert, the paparazzi, published the story and won a Pulitzer Prize. The two doctors and their two fathers dedicated themselves to finding a cure for cancer using nanonuclear weapons. Wasn't it one doctor? That's what they wanted us to believe. The captain of that boat? Retired with my 50 million dollars, but he died of gonorrhea the week after. Seriously? Nah, but he would have deserved it. <laughs> Do you remember Private Mike, the one I found hammered and whose leave I obtained? Well, he could finally visit his daughter for her birthday. Hello? <gasps> Daddy! And I went back to my old life as a smuggler. The end. Wow. Jesse, that's the most incredible story ever told. My god, you have an amazing imagination. You should be a video game writer. You don't believe me. Not a word. Thank you very much, Miss Incredulous. Hey, who are those guys? Must be an improvised patrol. Don't say a word if they don't ask you anything. Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. Very well. Let's see. Fuck. You're Jesse Fox. Uh, yeah. That's me. Holy Jesus. I can't believe it. Hey, Jimmy. Who is that guy? Fuck, Mike, he's Fox! The one who rescued Colonel Alan Harris and prevented the nuclear attacks. 
I really admire you, Mr. Fox. You're a fucking hero. Thanks, soldier. Here are your passports. Go, drive carefully. Are you okay? You've been very quiet. Stop the car. What's up? Then, it's true. It's all true. Now do you believe me? Kiss me. What? Kiss me now. Et voilà Voilà, monsieur, dame Nous avons... Terminé ce jeu Bordel, qu'est-ce que j'ai kiffé ce jeu Ce jeu qui est bourré d'humour, grosse inspiration de Metal Gear, vu que j'adore Metal Gear... Euh... J'ai hey, kiffé. Jimmy. Who the fuck is this Colonel Alan Harris? I don't know. Yesterday I met that guy in a bar. He was nice. I told him that I was going to slog as a guard here today. And he said if I pretended he rescued the Colonel and prevented nuclear attacks when he drove by, that he'd give me a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for saying four sentences. Can you believe it? Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. Mm -hmm. It's been the easiest 100 bucks ever. Fuck. People make up stupid shit just to score. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? Ça veut dire que c'est jamais arrivé? C'est pas vrai? On n'a pas sauvé tout le monde? Pas on n'a pas sauvé le colonel? Déjouer un complot? Si, moi j'y crois. Donc voilà. Merci à tous d'avoir regardé. L'épisode est plus long que... Plus long que d'habitude. C'est normal, je... On était à la fin, j'ai dit, vas-y, on... je continue. Je vais pas pour... On va pas s'arrêter là. Donc, merci à tous d'avoir regardé. J'espère que ça vous a plu. Je vous dis à très bientôt pour de nouvelles aventures. Prenez soin de vous. Et à ciao les amis.